Tena Kotu Katoa, this is Moritz Lehmann of Starboard Maritime Intelligence. At 9 p.m. on May the 12th, 2022 UTC, this is our last regular update of Operation 18C. It is 7 a.m. in Sydney, Australia and 9 a.m. in Aotearoa, New Zealand on May the 13th. We have been monitoring the fishing boats in the Tasman Sea since the 2nd of May. We found the fishing activity this year to be similar yet slightly lower compared with the previous two years. In our oceanography special screencast that will go live in the next few hours, we determined that sea surface temperature in starboard can be used to interpret fishing activity in an environmental context. In particular, this year has been warmer than the previous two years, which appears to have driven longlining activity slightly further south. Please check out this screencast. Yesterday, the Indo-Pacific Maritime Expo wrapped up in Sydney. Matt, Heather and Andrew were always busy giving live demonstrations of starboard and talking about new operations. The feedback we received was excellent. Visitors who got to play with starboard commented on its advanced analytical capability, the ease of use and its loading speed. Thank you for stopping by. And well done to Matt, who won the award for best presentation at the Pitch Fest for Australian Innovation, a trophy that he will now take out of ours back with him to Aotearoa. Out in the Tasman, one new Japanese longliner has arrived in our monitored area, and a New Zealand ship departed Nelson um, and is now steaming due northwest. Inspection of this ship's CCSBT record shows that it is not a long laner, but a trawler. And I have a correction to make. Yesterday, I overlooked that Unseen Labs did conduct a radio frequency scan of the area. This was collected at 15 minutes past midnight on May the 11th UTC. It shows almost complete detection of AIS transmitting ships and one dark detection. Altogether, Unseen Labs and MDA have provided a total of 12 satellite scans for our operation. The point of these scans is to help find dark vessels that are trying to hide their activities, for example the illegal catching of southern bluefin tuna. We found a total of 52 targets that could not be matched to AIS transponding vessels. Using different satellite technologies such as radio frequency and SAR provides complementary intelligence that improves the efficiency of deploying aircraft and patrol ships that are needed for actual enforcement of regulations. Please get in touch with us at Starboard if you have maritime intelligence requirements and we will be happy to plan and conduct operations for your area of interest. This was Moritz Lehmann reporting on Operation 18C. Tena Kotu for watching.